So I'm on a quest to change the user interface of a guitar from this to this. I might fail, this might be the worst idea ever, but I'm gonna go through with it no matter what. Let's get to it. All right, so phase two, we have the out of fruit feather board and the feather wings. Let's go ahead and open this up. So nicely packaged, it's kind of pretty the way they do this. Look at that, it's gorgeous. exactly how I'm feeling and it's such a serendipitous coincidence that this would be inside the Adafruit box. This is what I'm always thinking about when I'm building guitars and that's kind of one of the reasons why we're pursuing a touch capacitive pickup switching system. I'm looking for something more elegant than a mechanical switch you have to actuate. I'm looking for a more elegant solution to that user interface of the guitar. Let's go ahead and open up some of these bits here. I'm gonna start with this guy. Alright, let's take a look. It looks like we have some of the headers. It is almost the same dimensions as an Arduino Nano. And the advantages are we're able to stack this featherboard with feather wings, which is going to be the relay. And it won't be any larger than this. They're just going to be stacked. They're the same dimensions. So the cool thing about this is there's a charging port for the lithium ion battery. So it's built into this featherboard, which the Arduino Nano doesn't have. Really cool. So they have the stacking headers, I assume. So they just kind of go there and then the feather wing will go on top. I have a latching and not latching. And I believe this is the one we want. And there you are. Latching, relay, feather wing. And the difference between the non-latching and the latching is this latching has a set and unset pin that'll help it latch. And then it needs another set of voltages to unset it. And it'll look like this once they're stacked together. Oh, something like this. See how tiny that footprint is, and then the lithium ion battery. I don't remember ordering two. I don't know why I got two here. Maybe just had it in my cart. Okay, so check this out. Look how tiny this is. So it fits in between the feather board and the feather wing. Isn't that cool? And there is where we plug it in to the feather board. It'll be right in there, and then the relay will go on top like that. Let's take a look at this again. Look how little this thing is. And this is going to be running discreetly inside your control cavity, so you don't need a 9 volt battery.
Let's test this. I'm just going to turn my little test amp on. So right now, on, off. Then we touch. Okay. And then we have off, on, off, on. And then touch for the set. And then we have on. So it's all done. Here it is, the touch capacitive pickup switching system moved over to the Feather ecosystem. You can mount it using the four mounting holes in the corner inside your cavity. You can also mount it onto the control plate upside down. It's got an adorably cute little form factor. You can drop fit this into a Telecaster control cavity. That's how thin it is. It's got a lot of room for improvement and it's also scalable, so I'm only using two touch inputs. There are 12. So you can let your imagination run wild and use this for pretty much anything. Controlling lights, kill switch, pickups, MIDI, external synths, whatever you can think of and dream up. Phase three is going to be building an entire guitar to put this in. I've already started the body, so that'll be next week's video. Phase four is going to be to move this off the acrylic board and onto a PCB. That way we can eliminate all the wires. And every control point will be an actual trace that connects one microcontroller component to the other. Thanks for watching and take it easy.